Hey everyone, this is Fred Ranger. I hope you're doing good. In today's episode, I go over my top three favorite lens of all time for the Fujifilm ecosystem. So I am now officially fully onto the Fujifilm uh, system, having sold all my knock-on gear, and I don't regret anything. Uh, there's a couple things that I want to mention about Fujifilm. The first one is that the quality of the products is really, really good. Incredible, I would say. And it's not just the quality of the products, but the quality of the customer service that comes with the products is making this company, I think, one very, very unique camera brand out there. Plus, the lens ecosystem is so interesting because they have fast glass, they have long glass, they have glass that's you know more for portraits and bokeh and all this great stuff. So there's plenty of lenses to choose from. And, and I really think that if you're choosing a camera brand, you have to look at their lenses ecosystem because that's the most important part, right? The bodies are very important, but the lenses is what makes a camera brand great or not, at least in my opinion. So. I just want to mention too that I'm not using the uh, X-Pro2 and the X-T2 the same way when it comes to choosing my lenses. I really truly think that this beauty of a camera, the Fujifilm X-Pro2, is definitely made for prime lens. So if I were to choose one lens for the X-Pro2, I would choose the 35, uh, that's the 23, the 35 millimeter F2. This is a magnificent lens. This is a very, very, very sharp lens. I think it's one of the sharpest lens uh, on the market right now. And it just really fits very well on my X-Pro2 in terms of size too. It's a very tiny lens too. So let's mount it on the X-Pro2 and you'll understand what I mean. So there it is mounted on the X Pro 2 so that makes it for a very discreet um, a a kit and when you're on the street you want to take photos you don't look like a, a photographer with their you know with your big lenses and so on and so forth so this makes it for the ideal I think for me uh, with the focal length 35 which is equivalent to 50 millimeter on the 35 mil system um, I actually added the thumb grip here this is a LMX P2 a uh, little thumb grip here, very cool because you can do that. You can change your ISO, go back, and then go back to shooting with this beautiful lens. Again, very sharp uh, F2, so you know you can create some really nice bokeh, and uh, the form factor is great. So that's the first lens that I would bring everywhere with me. Uh, I think it's one of my favorite lens from Fujifilm. On to the X-T2. When I go with X-T2, again, this is more my DSLR feel type of camera. Uh, it's bigger, uh, so for me, it's less about prime lenses and it's more about zoom lenses and if there's one zoom that i really really like it's the 16 to 55 so this is your equivalent you know your 24 to 70 equivalent a bit uh, a bit longer because you have to multiply that uh, by 1.5 but look at this this beautiful lens this is not a a, uh, a stabilized lens but you know what so what um this is a beautiful lens it goes to f 2.8 all the way through and it just has a very very good build quality uh, I'm not uh, worried where when I bring this uh, onto some shoots I'm not worried to uh, to actually break it because it's built like a tank and when you mount it on a X-T2 just like that then your kit becomes really balanced actually when you when you look at the size of it and the weight of it it just feels right in the hand so I really like this uh, this zoom lens and again going from 16 which is kind of you know wide to 55 which gives you a, a nice you know focal length when you want to do portrait and the 2.8 all the way through makes it uh, very useful in low light situations so this is my go-to lens for my X-T2 so already two favorite lens from Fujifilm that I mentioned the third one might surprise you, but for me, it's kind of an older lens. And this is the 56 millimeter 1.2. I think this might be one of my favorite portrait lens out there uh, on the market right now. I've tested a couple, I mean Nikon, I had the 85 1.4, um, and I tested the Sony. Uh, but one thing I must say is that this lens is so small for a, a, a 85 millimeter equivalent. Uh, and this is a 1.2, the bokeh on this lens is just magnificent i really like the form factor and it goes well uh, on my x pro 2 and on my xt2 this is kind of a, a format that, that fits or that suits these two body really well really well so for me that is definitely something you need in your kit when it comes to shooting portraits 
uh, I'm bringing this lens every time I know that I have portraits uh, in the works. So 56 1.2, highly recommended. This is an older lens. The, the, the autofocus is not that fast. It's not like the newer ones, like the F2 lens. Um, but this is definitely uh, not for fast action sport type of uh, shooting. This is definitely the portrait lens uh, dream. So highly recommend this one. So these are the three lenses that I love so much that I'm bringing everywhere I go, depending on which body I take. Uh, not to mention though that these other lenses are really good too. I want to give a special shout out to two lenses that I really like but didn't make the top three. Um, but the 16mm 1.4, this is a low light beast at 1.4 and also it's kind of a, a, a perfect wide angle um, lens. It's not that wide because you have to multiply by 1.5 but ultimately this is one of the sharp this lens, like I said, that Fuji produce, and I think it's one of the, it, it renders the image, the micro contrast really, really well. So a nice lens to have. And my other one that I really like, it's the 10 to 24. So anytime I have a landscape opportunity, I will bring that lens. I will put some filters on and it gives me, uh, you know, um, uh, some stabilization with the IOS or sorry, OIS optical image stabilization. Uh, it also gives me weather resistant for what it's worth and also from 10 to 24 at a four all the way through. So for landscape, if you're into landscape, I would recommend looking at this lens. Um, and then two lenses that I like, that I really like, but these are not my favorite lens. Uh, the 23 uh, is as well built as the 35, uh, the one the one that's in my top three, but um, I don't really like, or actually, I don't, it's not that I don't like it, I just don't shoot uh, a lot of uh, 23 millimeter on the Fuji ecosystem. I tried it on the street, I know it's the you know 35 millimeter equivalent, and this is kind of the dream lens for street photography. I tried it, I used it multiple times, but I always go back to my 35 uh, millimeter f2. And this is your you know must have zoom lens. This is your uh, 20, uh, your 70 to 200 equivalent. This is 2.8 all the way through. It's a optical image stabilized lens too. Uh, you'll hear the little thing here that helps um, the motor and uh, stabilize it. But uh, again, big lens, but when compared to other 70 to 200, this is not really a problem to carry. But again, the three favorite lenses are right here. The 35 millimeter F2, highly recommended. The 16 to uh, 55 2.8 zoom lens, great with the X-T2. And that beauty of a portrait lens, which is the 56 1.2, actually. So if you have any questions about these lenses or the Fujifilm ecosystem, please feel free to ask them down below. If you like what you're seeing, please consider giving this video a thumbs up or sharing it with someone who might be interested. And if you want to actually subscribe to my channel and activate that little bell notification, you'll know every time I post a video on my YouTube channel, you'll be the first to know because you'll get a notification. So might as well just do that. So don't forget that in life, be happy, enjoy life, and enjoy your gear. Cheers.